I'm not here to cause any problems. Really? Because your face in my house is enough trouble. And the only way not to rile me up like you're doing is to go home. Ma, all I'm saying is that... You are going home! Do you know what your presence here means? Your presence is a constant reminder of all the pain, the tears, the hurt, and the embarrassment that you put us through two years ago. And I'll be damned if I let that happen again. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? In my thoughts, and it's all about you. It may cost me a lot, but I'm ready to lose. You make me feel a certain way. If I should choose, I'll go your way. Baby, me and you can run away. Oh. With them casting the river, I raise my heart and do what in your wish. Yeah. You be my Moses, you divide my sea. Yeah. Ain't no one like you. Got empty vacuums in many places that you filled up. And now they feel you. A billion people, but only you, they my catalog. Rachel. Rachel. Yes, Where's Mark? Mark, come right here now. Did you enjoy the show today at the assembly? Take one more step and I will show you who the parent is between us. Will that girl have any reason? to come back here to claim that you are responsible for her pregnancy. I thought she already told you who the father is, Mom. Don't play smart with me, Mark. You know what I mean. Have you and your members been of good behavior? Jesus, Mom. Answer my question, young man. Mom. There are cameras all over this house. What would I possibly do? You will eventually find out. 
<laughs> For your sake. I hope that you're telling me the truth. Because if I find out that you lied to me, well, you already know what I'll do. Something is hitting me up. I don't feel the same as I was. I'm stuck in a danger zone. Been living outside my world. It feels strange, and I've been looking for ways. I've been looking for escape. Tell me the truth, Mark. Did you do anything? You're not responsible, right? I don't know. We um we did it just once. Jesus Christ. Mark. That's against everything the Bible teaches us. Can you stop? In fact, forget I even told you. I thought I can be honest with you without you bringing this church nonsense. Mark, I'm sorry, okay? I'm, I'm just shocked. I mean, if mom... If mom finds out about this, she'll send you back to... I don't care. Well, I do care. If you leave, it will just be me alone in this house with her. So tell me, do you think you're responsible? Don't know. I tried talking to her, but she said no. Do you believe her? I don't know what to believe, Rachel. She's all you just acting weird. Um, so when when did you guys commit it? You know what it's called, right? It's called sex. Mark, I know what it's called. Just answer me. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a month before prison of last time. You think? You're not sure? Yes, I think, yes, it's a month before the closing of last time, I'm sure. If you're responsible, should be two months gone by now. How does that matter? Mom said she's one month pregnant, so you can't be responsible. Look, Mark, you have to promise me that you stop talking to that girl. You know how Mom is. Promise me. Mom, I have been absent in Josh's life in the past and I want to be a part of his life now. As what? His nanny? Or maybe you want to mentor him on how to get 14-year-olds pregnant like you did my daughter. Is that it? No, ma, that was a mistake. And it happened just one time. And we are here having this conversation. Why didn't you drop out of school when my daughter was expelled? You are Josh's father, ain't you? Why didn't you drop out of school when Nancy was expelled? You stayed back and completed your education. And now that my daughter is ready to start again, you crawl out like a horrible nightmare that you are to finish up what you started, isn't it? No, Ma. I'm here to make things right. How? I want to help with Josh. How? By paying his fees? I've gotten a job in town and I want to contribute to his fees. Contribute? <laughs> he wants to contribute. Contribute, he says. I have taken care of that child since the day he dropped into this world, did I 
contribute to birthing him? Hmm? Well, I know I've cost you a lot of harm and shame. You are right, Gabriel. You have caused me so much shame and hurt. And what you're going to do is to go home. Now. I'm sorry, ma, but I can't. I've gotten a job in town and I intend to take care of my son. I'm going to come here every day. If that is what it means to prove to you that I am sorry and I am ready to take responsibility of my actions. That is what I will do. So, you are determined to ruin her life. Hmm? No, my promise. I won't even tell anyone that she is that that Josh is my son. I really want to work here, ma. There is no money, neither is there any job at home that I can do. Mom, what if we introduce him as my cousin to anyone who asks? I don't want him in or around my house. No, around my daughter, Nancy. I promise, I'm not here to cause any problem. I just want to be in my son's life. The only way I will agree to, to this is on one condition. That you will be addressed as Nancy's cousin. As to when and your frequency in my house, I will communicate to you later. Now, leave. Right now? Did you have the intention of leaving in my house too? No, ma'am. Then, up, out! Thank you, ma'am. Mom, are you angry? You mean if I'm excited that you told the one boy that you have no business talking to where we live? How can you forget so soon what his parents put us through? I did not forget, Mom. Then what is he doing in this town? Don't lie to me because I know you told him. Mom, he saw us when we were packing. He said I was running away with Josh. He even threatened to go to the police if I did not tell him where we were going. I don't think you understand the implication of his presence in this town. I do, Mom. Really? Nancy, that school is merely tolerating me as a single mother. If they find out that you are a single mother too, that would be the end of your schooling there. End of me teaching there. Do you understand? I'm sorry for all the shame and humiliation I've caused us. scared that this can blow up in our faces. This town is, is a good place to start afresh. And the money I'll be getting in that school is good. Plus, that is the best school you will be attending as a science student. I promise to behave more. I've learned my lesson. All I will do in this school is to study and make you proud. No more boys for me, I promise. Oh. 
Okay. Make cooking beans today. Yes. The ripe plantain I told you to put in the fridge. It's still in the fridge, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we are making beans with the ripe plantain. Enjoy. Hey, beautiful. I thought we had an understanding. That you're the most beautiful girl in this school. Yep, we had that understanding. I want to invite you somewhere. I'm not going anywhere with you. You don't even know where yet. No need. I'll be busy. How would you know that? You don't even know when the outing will be. Do you have a plan of getting out of my way? Yes, after I've invited you. Okay, go ahead. I and my friend have to go to class. All right, fine. Since you asked nicely, I want you to come watch me play football later. And don't say no, because that will be the last period before the period of school. What if I have to study at that time? Hmm. Then you really break my heart. But you're a nice person, so I know you wouldn't. Awesome. I look forward to seeing you. Or I'll look for you and I'll drag you out myself. I think, bro. Flirting and falling in love with my brother is a bad idea. I wasn't flirting with him. Did you say he's your brother? Be careful. My brother is a heartbreaker. I didn't know he was your brother. Now you know. So stay away from him. Huh? Why well, didn't know he was your brother now? Oh. Good morning, Principal. Good morning, Mr. Pan. Where's everyone? Um, they've all gone to the classroom. Oh. Okay. Hmm. And Miss Hannah? I think she should be in class too. She has not signed this. Did you see her today? I, I came in not long ago. So, I assume she should be in class. All right then. Tell her to see me when she gets here. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Miss Hannah. Good morning, students. Please sit. So, as we know, this is supposed to be a JSS3 mathematics, but for the sake of revision, we're going to do statistics again. All right?
Joy, how are you? Okay. So you are going to find the mean of the data on the board. And you're going to find the median of the data on the board. Correct. Um, what is that your name again? Are you okay, Nancy? Nancy, if you're having any issue solving the data, just step aside for someone else to try. And see, that's all the time you have. Thank you. So who can find the median for us? Who, 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 who? Osman. Correct. Nancy? Have you seen where you made the mistake? You have seen it, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. Big for nothing. Will you shut up your mouth? <laughs> Most of you won't even go this far that she has gone. At least she was able to write the data on the board. A lot of you will not be able to do that. Bring out your textbooks. Bring out your books. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Pan. The, the register. Oh, um, the principal took it. Um, she said you should meet her. Okay, thank you. I hope you're fine. Yeah. I've been losing sleep. There's nothing here to keep. And I've been seeking deep to see if I can pull my seat. Where sunlight is. I need to feel this pain. Feel strange, and I've been looking for a way. I've been looking for escape. Yeah, I've been looking for a way. So reach the surface. I've been looking for a way. I've been looking for escape. Man, I've been looking for a way. Sorry. Why are you studying math, just three mathematics textbook when you're in SS class? And how do you know I'm not in JSS3? Because you're um, too old to be in JS3. And we are not too old to still be in secondary school. <laughs> Mm. 
And that is because of James. Are you friends with James? No. I would rather pass. So how did you know if James didn't tell you? Because James, when James wants or when James knows something about a girl he wants to pursue, the old school will know. And from your tone of voice, seems like you hate him. <laughs> Either way you, I will wait before turning James into my light and shining armor. You see that girl over there? The one with the buns. Used to be James' girlfriend. And you see that black one over there? That one too was also James' girlfriend. And then you see those two girls over there. The one that look like best friends. They were never best friends. They're also James' girlfriend in SS1. And five more girls change school. Why are you telling me this? It's James' loss if he can't focus on girls that, are, that value their studies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I laughed. You think they're all here because they want to study. Look at them. They're not here because they want to study. They are all here because they can't just allow someone to talk and laugh at them. Because they're here to just cover their shame. But you have talked long enough to mock them. My dear, you think to be James' girlfriend is a privilege? Huh? Eh? <laughs> Wait. Wait until when James will dump you and move on to the next beautiful girl. See, that's who Jim is. That's who Jim is. It changes girls every single time. Like baby diaper. Anyways, um, if you wanted to revise the Just 3 textbook, I think you should go with um, the progressive mathematics. It's self-explanatory. Thank you. You're welcome. I asked Mr. Pan to call you when you arrive. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just get into school. I I came before my but your office was locked. What time was that? AM. I think uh about about 8 a.m. You a teacher gets to school around 8 a.m. Ma, I was trying to explain to you yesterday that do I look like I care about what your excuses are? You seem to be very comfortable here, Miss Hannah. You feel at home, right? I apologize, ma. I, I, I don't have any need for your apology. You are not paid to come here at any time you feel like. Every teacher should be in the school before 7.30. But you got here after 8.30. Yes. I know it because I picked up this registry lock at 8.30. I apologize, ma. It will not happen again. You apologize. 
Look here, let me tell you one thing you don't know. You represent everything I stand against. Everything. Yes. And I will make it my personal project to throw you out of the school. So, feel free. Make mistakes. Come to school by 11 a.m. or even 12. Just arm me with enough evidence to throw you out. All right? Get out of my office. Out. Thank you. This is where you're hiding. I'm not hiding. I'm reading. You are. What are you doing? Three textbooks on one subject. Really? Are you going to let little mistake ruin your whole time in school? Easy for you to say. You're the class best student. I mean, I'm just a student that everybody's laughing at. <laughs> Hello? Welcome to secondary school where students find unconventional reasons to laugh. There's no word like unconventional. See? <laughs> I knew you were smart. <laughs> You are making intentional mistakes just so to know who is smart enough to correct you. It's my memo. <sighs> Look, I know we're not really close to asking this question, but did you drop out of school? You look like you should be in your SS3 or two. Mm. <clears throat> yes, um, I, I dropped out three years ago. Three years? That's long. Were you sick? Yeah, yes, I was sick. Me too. I dropped out in just two, but it was only for a year. See? We have something in common. We are definitely going to be best friends. <laughs> now, enough with Aiden. Let's go watch football. No, you can go ahead. I have to finish this. You're really a runner, aren't you? Yesterday you freaked out because you called you a pregnant new girl. Today you also freaked out because you mixed up your calculations. How long do you intend to keep freaking out? Until there's nothing to freak out about. Nancy, this term consists of 13 weeks. And that's a total of 65 school days. And it's just day two. So tell me, do you intend to freak out for all 65 days? That's two months and five days worth of freaking out. Exactly. <laughs> you know, my father always say, always plan your term and make a term resolution so that whatever oh. happens, it will never sway you from the goal. And this term, I have decided to be popular. You should have yours. Why do you want to be popular? Do I need a reason to? I used to be popular until I became sick. Now, I want to go back to being that. We can do it together. <laughs> I have no intentions of being popular. Ah, oh, not again, Nancy. Look, you can't accomplish anything in this life without people. And I want to be your person, your friend, Look, I don't socialize much too, but 
in putting in the effort. Anyway, you can decide to join me or stay. The choice is yours. Don't want to be popular. My you made it. My resolution is to be the best student in the school. But I want to be friends with you too. So yeah, right. He's <laughs> leaving. He's in red. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird thing. Mm hmm. Oh. Lately, I've been lost in my thoughts. It's all about you. Huh? It may cost me a lot. Did it grow? But yeah. I'm ready to lose. You make me feel a certain way. I will never help. I'm about to show you what professional football looks like. Wow. I see you've not learned your lesson. I've been seeing you time and time again. Yeah, this is your brother. I should to come down. How many times now? Why did you say that? Yeah. Let's go. Where I'm coming. Where are you going? I'm coming. Hey, beautiful. You made me. I didn't come because of you. Joy gave me a lecture on socializing. <laughs> you see, I'm shocked. Must be an understatement. Being a secondary school football star doesn't make you social, dear brother. It only means you're surrounded by fans, not friends. Wow. Don't mind my sister, she's the German queen. Go here for me, let me change my clothes and get my bag. I can. I have to go home. Let go of my hand. Not if you told me you wait first. Come on, what's the rush? Marov, I want to show you something. You don't have anything to show me. It's just a trick to make me wait. Okay, fine. Why don't you just prove me wrong? Five minutes, please. Don't go anywhere. You and your brother are nothing alike. Uh, I know. 
He's social and I'm not. I mean to say you guys don't seem close. Not all siblings love each other. That's weird. If I had a brother, I would love him so much. What about the little boy I saw your mom carrying? Yes, I meant if I, have a, if I had a brother around my age or older. Mm. Just be careful with James. He's not your regular secondary school boy. You will get your heart broken if you let him. Well, that is not even in my schedule. Good. Now let's go get our school bag. Yeah. Oh, ah. Ah. See? I didn't take time. I see that. What did you want to show me? Ah. Ah. Let me catch my breath first. Why do I have a feeling that you are pretending to catch your breath? Because you have not planned out what you want to show me. No, 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 no. I'm catching my breath. Do you know how fast I run? Okay. Ah. Are you done catching your breath? Where is it? Uh, right, fine. Actually, I'm just to give you a ride home. I knew it. I knew if I told you I wanted to give you a ride home, you would actually say no. Well, I would still say no. Besides, I'm waiting for my mom. Huh? This is her having a meeting, so she might take time. Join us and we will drop you. See? Even your friend wants you to join us. Well, I would have to ask her first. What? <laughs> if you get close to that place, Principal Abigail will eat you. Okay then. Then both of you should know that my house is infanty. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm just saying. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Alright. So, um, this is me. Hmm, you're right. More fancy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who is that guy? No one. Boy, he's standing in front of your house. Is he your boyfriend? No. He's my cousin. Boy, he said he was no one. He's my cousin that we don't really care about. I have to go. Thank you for the ride. Oh, okay. Bye. Bye. I don't think that guy is our cousin. And I don't think she's your girlfriend, so you have no right to be jealous. Shut up. That guy feels suspicious. 
Can we go now? You just feel so sure because someone else is interested in her. So, what is it with that drug you? Maybe I should go and check. Leave her alone, James. I don't meddle with your friends, so you shouldn't meddle with my relationship. Can you hear yourself? She's my friend. What are you doing here? I thought my mom said you should not come here without calling first. But how am I supposed to see Josh if I don't come over? This is my life. When it was your life, I did not show up everywhere you go just to distort it or embarrass you or your parents. You can't just come here any minute you like without calling. I know what I promised, Nancy, and I'm going to stand by it. I just wanted to see Josh. Really? This is just past school hours. Gabriel, I know that you are aware that my mom is the one who picks Josh up. Oh, she forgot her phone. Let me take it to her. Don't worry. Ah, busybody. Stay here. What if I just wanted to see you too? You can't see me, Gabriel. It's not my fault, Nancy. If I could, I would have stood up for you. I forgot this. Me. Your wings can blow my candle I'm sounding like I need a hero Someone saving me 